Ilocos Sur Ilocano, Makina Bagatan na Ilocos, is a province in the Philippines located in the Ilocos region in Luzon. Vigan City, located on the mouth of the Mestizo River is the provincial capital. Ilocos Sur is bordered by Ilocos Norte and Abra to the north, Mountain Province to the east, La Union and Benguet to the south and the South China Sea to the west. Ilocos Sur was founded by the Spanish conquistador, Juan de Salcedo in 1572. It was formed when the north now Ilocos Norte, split from the south Ilocos Sur. At that time it included parts of Abra and the upper half of present-day La Union. The current boundary of the province was permanently defined through Act 2683, which was signed in March 1917. The province is home to two UNESCO World Heritage Sites, namely, the Heritage City of Vigan and the Baroque Church of Santa Maria. History Before the arrival of the Spaniards, the coastal plains in northwestern Luzon, stretching from Bangui Ilocos Norte, in the north to Namakpakan Luna, La Union, in the south, were a region called the Ilocos. This region lies in between the China Sea in the west and northern Cordilleras on the east. The inhabitants built their villages near the small bays on coves called Looc in the dialect. These coastal inhabitants were referred to as Ilocos which literally meant from the lowlands. The entire region was then called by the ancient name Samtoy from Sao Mi Ditoy which in Ilocano mean our dialect. The region was later called by the Spaniards as Ilocos or Ilocos and its people Ilocanos. The Ilocos region was already a thriving, fairly advanced cluster of towns and settlements familiar to Chinese, Japanese and Malay traders when the Spaniard explorer Don Juan de Salcedo and members of his expedition arrived in Vigan on June 13, 1572. Forthwith, they made Cabigbigan Bigan, the heart of the Ilocos settlement their headquarters which Salcedo called Villa Fernandina and which eventually gained fame as the Intramuros de Ilacandia. Salcedo declared the whole northern Luzon as an encomienda, or a land grant. Subsequently, he became the encomendero of Vigan and lieutenant governor of the Ilocos until his death in July 1574. Augustinian missionaries came to conquer the region through evangelization. They established parishes and built churches that still stand today. Three centuries later, Vigan became the seat of the Archdiocese of Nueva Segovia. A royal decree of February 2, 1818 separated Ilocos Norte from Ilocos Sur, the latter to include the northern part of La Union as far as Namakpakan, now Luna, and all of what is now the province of Abra. The sub-province of Lepanto and Amborayan in Mountain Province were annexed to Ilocos Sur. The passage of Act 2683 by the Philippine Legislature in March 1917 defined the present geographical boundary of the province. Pre-colonial era The ancient land of Samtoyan the northwestern part of Luzon, the Ilocos Range restricts a narrow stretch coastal plain throughout its entire length as the home of one of the tribes of the Malay race, the Ilocanos. Gleanings from ancient chronicles such as that of Fray Andres Caro say that the word Samtoy was applied to ancient Ilocos or to the most important town of the region, where the most important dialect was spoken. The ancient land of Ilocos or Samtoy extended from Bangui in the north to Aringay in the south. Situated between the coast of the South China Sea and the rugged mountain ranges of the Cordillera is a long narrow strip of coastal plain. On the western China Sea side, the land is sandy. On the eastern side, near the slopes of the mountains that separates the region from the mountain province, the land is rocky, leaving just a narrow strip of plain here and there for cultivation. In places, the mountains come so close to the sea that the public highway has to wind along the steep mountain and sea. The pressure of increasing population and consequent land hunger has made the people of this region thrifty. Spanish exploration The coast of Samtoy, already familiar to Chinese and Japanese traders before Magellan's time, was known to the Spanish colonizers in 1572 when Juan de Salcedo traveled along Samtoy or what is now known as the Ilocos provinces. Sent by the Ada Intado, Miguel López de Legazpi, to explore the whole island of Luzon, Salcedo founded Ciudad Fernandina in 1574 in the heart of Ilocos settlement in Bigan, in what is now Ilocos Sur. 
It became the center of Spanish rule and influence, and the evangelization and pacification movements. The Spaniards, after Salcedo's exploration, created Samtoy, the whole northwestern region of Luzon into an encomienda with Villa Fernandina at Tamag Bigan, as the capital. Salcedo was made lieutenant governor of Ulocos and the encomendero of Bigan where he died on March 11, 1576. It was due to his efforts that the settlements in Tagaran, Santa Lucia, Nalbacan, Bante, Candon and Sinate were pacified and made to pay tribute to the King of Spain. Conversion of the natives To implement Spain's policy, missionaries came to convert the natives to Christianity. A Spanish chronicler wrote the Ilocos are all Christians and are the humblest and most tractable. The evangelization of Ilocos Sur was allotted to the Augustinians who established parishes in Santa in 1576, Tagaran in 1586, Sta. Lucia in 1586, Nalbacan in 1587, Candon 1591, and Bante in 1590. In 1641 they built a church in Bigan, which 117 years later, was to become the cathedral of the Episcopal See of Nueva Segovia. Partition of Ulocos Ulocos comprised the present provinces of Ilocos Norte, Ilocos Sur, Abra, and a part of Mountain Province. A royal decree dated February 2, 1818, separated the northern section of Ilocos which became the province of Ilocos Norte. The southern portion, called Ilocos Sur, included the northern part of La Union and all of what is now the province of Abra. In 1854, the province of La Union was created out of the towns that had belonged to Ilocos Sur and Pangasinan. Ilocos Sur previously extended as far south as Namakpakan, in Luna, and the territory south of this belonged to Pangasinan. It was the union of portions of Ilocos Sur from the Amborayan were taken from the mountain province and incorporated with Ilocos Sur. Abra, which was part of Ilocos Sur, was created in 1864 with Lepanto as a sub province to Ilocos Sur, and remained as such until March, 1971, when the Passage of Act made it again a separate province. Bigan, capital of Ulocos. Bigan is almost four centuries old, and was once known as Kabigbigan from Biga, Alocasia indica, a coarse erect and aracious plant with large and ornate leaves with grows on the banks of the rivers. Its name Bigan was later changed to Bigan. To the Spaniards it was Villa Fernandina in honor of King Ferdinand, the Spanish ruler then. Founded in 1574 by Spanish conquistador Juan de Salcedo as capital of ancient Ilocos, Vigan vied in importance and gentility with the city of Intramuros. Even before Salcedo came to Vigan, the town was already a center of Malayan civilization with a population of 8,000, a population greater than that of Manila then. It was already enjoying some prosperity, trading with the Chinese and Japanese who brought fine jars, silk and crockery through the nearby port of Pandan, Cauayan. In the 19th century, Vigan also traded with Europe. Ships loaded indigo in its port for the textile mills in the continent. The invention of chemical dyes in Germany ruined this industry. By then, the affluent citizens of Vigan had stocked their homes with statuettes of brass and iron, dinner wares, other artifacts of European civilization, fine ivory and inlaid furniture and china wares. Social institutions before Salcedo died in 1576, he bequeathed his encomienda to a selected group who perpetuated the tenancy system from which developed the practice of caciquism and landlordism, and consequently, usury. The aristocracy of the Bavanangs against whom the Kailanes rose in revolt in 1762 is apparent. The two sections of the town, one for the mestizos and the other for the naturales are still distinct. These practices became prominent during the indigo boom at the middle of the 19th century. Caciquism, together with landlordism and usury, was the greatest obstacle to the progress of the province. The locos underwent the throes of these practices to be what it is today. Migration In the development of Ilocos Sur, the colonizers utilized free labor. Resentment to free labor brought about sporadic revolts, and those who refused to be slaves and tenants left the region and went to Abra and Cagayan Valley. 
From 1898 to the first decade of the 20th century, covered ox carts moved to the rich plains of Pangasinan, Nueva Ecija and Tarlac. In these travels, the children were amused by the tales of Lam Ang, Angelo and Aaron, Juan Sadat and other legendary Ilocano characters. Folk songs like Pamulinawan, Manang Baday, Dungdungwan Kanto Une, Une, and the Iloko Dal Lot to the accompaniment of the Kutabeng were popularized. The second phase of Ilocano migration was from 1908 to 1946 when surplus labor hands migrated to the plantations of Hawaii and the American West Coast. At the height of this migration, the average density of population in Ilocos Sur was 492 inhabitants per square mile, the most dense in the Philippines then, excluding Manila. The last batch of labor migration of Hawaii was in 1946 when 7,365 men were recruited by the Department of Labor. Vigan was the recruiting center. At present, more than 70% of the 63,500 Filipinos in Hawaii are Ilocanos. Uneasy peace The history of Ilocos Sur, from the beginning of the Spanish rule to the first decade of the 19th century was characterized by revolts in protest against tributes and forced labor, as well as the monopolies of some industries. The best known of these revolts was the Ilocos Revolt 1762 better known as Salang. S. Revolt. This was principally a revolt of the masses aimed at the Babanangs and the Alcalde Mayor of Vigan. After Diego Salang's assassination on May 28, 1763, his wife, Josefa Gabriela, continued the fight until she was captured and hanged publicly on September 20, 1763. On September 16, 1817, another revolt resulted in protest against the government's monopoly in the manufacture of Basi the native wine. The rebels under the command of Ambaristo were defeated by a contingent of regular troops and recruits. On March 25, 1898, Isabello Abaya started a revolt in Candon and raised a red flag in the town plaza. The historic Iquiz T. Candon was the start of the several revolutions in the Ilocos region. Philippine Revolution and Philippine–American War Ilocos Sur, like other provinces in the Philippines, was quick to rally behind Gen. Emilio Aguinaldo in the Philippine Revolution in 1896. Upon the capture of Vigan, the revolutionists made the Bishop's Palace, their headquarters. On March 21, 1898, Don Mariano Acosta of Candon established the provincial revolutionary government in that town. When General Aguinaldo returned from his exile in Hong Kong to begin the Philippine–American War, he sent General Manuel Tinio to carry on the guerrilla warfare against the Americans. Vigan served as Tinio's headquarters until its occupation by the U.S. 45th Infantry under Lt. Col. Parker on December 4, 1899. On the Tarad Pass in Concepcion, east of Candon, General Gregorio del Pilar, covering the retreat of General Aguinaldo to the Cordilleras and ultimate to Palanan, died a heroic death on December 2, 1899 in a battle against the American forces under Major C. March. With the smoldering embers of the Filipino-American War already dying out, and with the gradual return of peace and order, a civil government under the Americans was established in Ilocos Sur on September 1, 1901 with Don Mina Crisologo, a delegate to the Malolos Congress, as the first provincial governor. World War II About 40 years later, another bloody skirmish took place in Vigan. On December 10, 1941, a contingent of Japanese Imperial forces landed in Mindoro, Vigan, Santa, and Pandan, Cauayan. Four years later, the Battle of Besang Pass in Cervantes, fought between General Yamashita's forces and the U.S. 21st Infantry was the climax in the fight for liberation. On April 18, 1945, Ilocos Sur was declared liberated from the Japanese with the joint efforts of Filipino and American soldiers including Ilocano guerrillas. Economic prosperity The first half of the 19th century was an economic boom for Ilocos Sur and other Ilocano provinces. It was during this period when the cotton, tobacco and indigo industries were encouraged by the government. With the operations of the Real Compañía de Filipinas, the textile industry was developed on a large scale, and the abolition of the tobacco monopoly accelerated economic progress. But the invention of chemical dyes put the indigo industry out of the business scene. Today, the premier money crop is Virginia leaf tobacco. 
The windfall was brought about by the Tobacco Subsidy Law, authored by Congressman Floro Crisologo. The 1970s were a dark period for the province as armed men known as the Saka Saka, Ilocano, literally barefooted, terrorized the province, and this reign of terror resulted in the famous burning of the barangays of Ora East and Ora Centro in the municipality of Bante. This era ended with the rise of Luis Chavit Singson to the governor's seat. Geography Ilocos Sur occupies the central section of the Ilocos region in northern Luzon. It is bordered by Ilocos Norte to the north, Abra to the northeast, Mountain Province to the east, Benguet to the southeast, La Union to the south, and the South China Sea to the west. Its area of 2,596.00 square kilometers (1,002.32 square miles) occupies about 20.11% of the total land area of Region 1. The topography of Ilocos Sur is undulating to rolling with elevations ranging from 10 to 1,700 meters to 5 feet above sea level. Climate The climate is generally dry as defined by the Hernandez Climate Classification, the dry months are from October to May. However, the southernmost portion, Cervantes, is humid and rain is evenly distributed throughout the year while the southeastern part of Sugpan is drier. August has the most rainfall while January and February have the least. The mean temperature in the province is 27 degrees Celsius 81 degrees Fahrenheit. January is the coldest. Administrative divisions Ilocos Sur comprises 32 municipalities and two component cities, which are organized into two legislative districts. There are a total of 768 barangays in the province. Barangays The 32 municipalities and two cities of the province comprise a total of 768 barangays, with Puro in Magsingal as the most populous in 2010, and Montero in Baneoyo as the least. Demographics the population of Ilocos Sur in the 2015 census was 689,668 people, with a density of 270 inhabitants per square kilometer or 700 inhabitants per square mile. The 1960 census lists 338,058 people, 64,446 dwelling units of which, 2,974 are lighted with electricity, 3,227 provided with radio, 7,379 served with pipe water, 25,137 served with artesian and pumped water, and 310 using electricity, kerosene and gas for cooking. Inhabitants Ilocos Sur is inhabited mostly by Ilocanos belonging to the third largest ethnic group of Malay origin. A Spanish chronicler wrote that the people are very simple, domestic and peaceful, large of body and very strong. They are highly civilized. They are a most clean race, especially the women in their homes which they keep very neat and clean. Miguel de Lorca records around 1582 that the Ilocanos are intelligent as the Zambaleños for they are farmers. The main occupation of the people is agriculture. Father Juan de Medina noted in 1630 that the natives are the humblest and most tractable known and lived in nest and large settlements. Religion the province is predominantly Roman Catholic with 75% of population adherents. Aglipayan Church is also a considerable large minority with a 20% adherence. Other religious beliefs are represented by other Christian churches such as Baptist, Iglesia Ni Cristo, Methodist, Seventh-day Adventist, other evangelical Christians as well as Muslims. Economy the people are engaged in farming, producing food crops, mostly rice, corn, vegetable, root crops, and fruits. Non-food crops include tobacco, cotton, and tigergrass. Cottage industries include loom weaving, furniture making, jewelry making, ceramics, blacksmithing, and food processing. Agriculture Ilocos Sur's economy is agrarian, but its 2,647 square kilometers (1,022 square miles) of unfertile land is not enough to support a population of 338,579. Such agricultural crops as rice, corn, tobacco, and fruit trees dominate their farm industries. 
Secondary crops are camote and cassava, sugar cane and onions. The rapidly growing population, the decreasing fertility of the soil, and the long period between the planting and harvesting season, have forced the people to turn to manufacture and trade. Many Ilocanos go to the Cagayan Valley, Central Plains and Mindanao to sell Ilocano woven cloth. Weaving is the most extensive handicraft, bolstered by the installation of the NDC textile mills in Narvacan which supplies the weavers with yarn. Other industries are Bernay and Slipper making in Vigan, furniture and statue making in San Vicente, mortar and pestle making in San Esteban, and bolo making in Santa. Education. Ilocos Sur has 547 public schools including five general high schools, one university, one agricultural college and 56 private schools, 16 of which are Catholic. Culture The Ilocos Sur Museum, founded on August 22, 1970, has a collection of cultural treasures which include art include paintings, centuries-old sculptures, pieces of carved furniture, and relics of Spanish, European and Chinese cultures that had influenced Ilocano life for centuries. Chapters of Philippine history and religion are found in the Crisologo collections which includes family heirlooms, centuries-old Santos. Religious statuettes made of wood or ivory, other ivory images, Vienna furniture, marble top tables, ancient carved beds, rare Chinese porcelains, jars and jarlets, lamps, Muslim brass wares, and Spanish and Mexican coins. The Saiquia collections, including then President Elpidio Quirino's memorabilia, vie in quality with the Crisologo collections. But in the midst of a fire scare in Vigan in the past, the relics in the Saiquia mansion were transferred to Manila for safekeeping. UNESCO recognitions in Ilocos Sur UNESCO has inscribed two Ilocos Sur sites in the World Heritage List. Heritage City of Vigan in 1999, the heritage city of Vigan was inscribed in the World Heritage List. UNESCO describes the site as Established in the 16th century, Vigan is the best preserved example of a planned Spanish colonial town in Asia. Its architecture reflects the coming together of cultural elements from elsewhere in the Philippines, from China and from Europe, resulting in a culture and townscape that have no parallel anywhere in East and Southeast Asia. Santa Maria Church in 1993, the Baroque Churches of the Philippines, containing four properties, was inscribed in the World Heritage List. One of the properties was the Santa Maria Church of Ilocos Sur. UNESCO describes, the unique architectural style of the churches is a reinterpretation of European Baroque by Chinese and Philippine craftsmen. Notable people from Ilocos Sur References External links Media related to Ilocos Sur at Wikimedia Commons Geographic data related to Ilocos Sur at OpenStreetMap Philippine Standard Geographic Code